and welcome to another Cougar Conversation. My name is Jerem Jordan. Today I'm chatting with former BYU football player and current New York football giant, Brian Keel. Brian, how's it going? Going great. So I saw you on campus walking around and I thought, there's Brian Keel, and then I remembered, hey, the Giants aren't in the playoffs. If, uh, so you're going to school now, taking a class, right? Yeah, it's kind of funny. I digress a little bit. NFL and back to school. Just, just taking one class, uh, still have some classes to graduate at? Yeah, I got a few classes left. Um, you know, I, just, I like BYU so much, I'm just going to lengthen out my time here. Just take my time. Just hey, you're telling me. Soak man, it up, that. you know, I'm just going to get the, the most out of my BYU experience. So if the Giants were in the Super Bowl, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be here then? I would be in Tampa. I'd be pretty excited, actually. Uh, pretty, pretty a, little, pumped. a little bit warmer than probably. Well, I should be. No, I'm just kidding. No, we, <laughs> we choked. We, we, we had our chances. We choked, though. So what was it like uh, jumping up to the NFL, having played at BYU, different level uh, in the pros there? It was an adjustment, to say the least. I mean, obviously, everybody talks about the speed of the game, and it is a faster game, but I'd say the biggest difference is that everybody's good. Just there's, there's no scrubs. There's, there's some good, amazing football players. And then, obviously, the environment. It's, it's not Provo. It's not BYU. And, and I, I, mean, I knew that, but... I mean, every day it was it was pretty surprising how different the environment is. So it was it was an adjustment. A couple of guys uh, hope to be drafted from BYU. Austin Colley going early, and then uh, Ray Fanga and some others hoping to be in the draft. Have you talked to those guys about your experience in the NFL and in, with the combines and stuff? Yeah, trying to give them some pointers. The guys before me gave me some pointers, and I'm excited for them. They got great opportunities ahead of them, and it's just it's one of those things that you don't know what to prepare for, but just trying to do every little thing will help. Um, but they, I'm excited for them. I hope one of them comes to the Giants. Shoot, I'd love to have another teammate. I'd love to have somebody. It'd be sweet. What do you think of Austin coming out early? You know, I understand why he did. I understand the reasoning. On, uh, that I, I personally wouldn't have done it. Um, I love BYU, like I said. And sure, I'd give anything to be back here again, have another year. Uh, I'll give anything. So on that standpoint, I, I, I think the thing about it is people think what the NFL is just bright lights, cameras, just awesome, which it is. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but it's it's not what you what you see what it seems like. And it was a lot more fun playing at BYU. And so I would like you know in retrospect, I I miss my time here, and I loved every minute while I was here, and I, I miss it now. So, but Austin's an amazing receiver, and I I wish him the best. He's awesome. Hopefully, he comes to the Giants. Does it feel like more of a job in a in a business money making industry? Definitely, you notice that and. You know, when you mess up at BYU, your coach yells at you. But you can tell he's yelling at you because he wants you to be better. And he cares about you. And in the NFL, when you mess up, your coach yells at you. He uses a different vocabulary when he yells at you. And his motivation to yell at you is so that the team wins, so that he doesn't lose his job. That's, and, and you can sense that. You can feel that. And if you keep messing up, you're going to lose your job. And that happens. It's cutthroat. People are in and out all year long. And uh, you... you you, you sense that. So it's different. It is a business. It's obviously still a game. It's still fun. Going out there, running around, playing the game is fun. But it's, it's different. It's a different feeling. 2008, BYU goes 10-3, and three, uh, lose to TCU, Utah, Arizona. How much were you able to catch of the games, and what, what did you think of the season? You know, I watched, I think it was every game but two that I, I wasn't able to just with my schedule. But I was able to watch almost all of them. You and get the mountain in New York. You know what? <laughs> I, I went to Applebee's. There was an Applebee's right by my house. And... We would have a break on Saturdays before we went to our team hotel, and it was just perfect. I'd go watch the game, and Applebee's had the mountain. Surprise! I don't know how, but they did. And uh, it was awesome, so I was able to, to go watch all the games, and, man, I just it, it made me jealous to be out there. They had a great year. I think a lot of fans are a little disappointed because we had expectations so high, but 10-3 is awesome. And, you know, obviously, I think they cut themselves short a little bit, and they left stuff on the field against TCU, Utah, and Arizona. But that's why you play the game. So hopefully these guys are right now learning from it and then getting better for next year. Well, okay, Brian, thanks for taking the time, and we wish you the best of luck next year with the uh, Giants. Appreciate it. Thank you.